if you want to master data structures and algorithms, it is not enough to just memorize lead code problems. They're also really fundamental parts of computer science that you should try to master as much as possible, just like any other topic. That's why it's such a shame to see so many people approaching this topic by just memorizing lead code questions rather than taking the time to actually fundamentally learn and understand these topics. Sure, memorizing some questions can work if you have an interview next week and you get a bit lucky, but we might say that studying data structures and algorithms by memorizing questions is a very inefficient data structures and algorithms study algorithm. So in this video, I'm just going to describe what I am doing. I'm not claiming that this is the best, the only way to do this, but many people have been asking me how I am studying this thing. So here it is. So the broad outline for whatever I'm studying is this. First, I want to get a general idea of the topic because before you learn something, you don't know what you don't know. So the first step is to try to understand what you don't know. I just get a broad list or understanding of the concepts and the topics that you will need to study as well as a very overview level based understanding. Second step is to do a basic course or textbook to really teach you the fundamentals and do all the exercises that that book of course makes you to. And step three is to start applying my knowledge to real problems. As you saw in my previous video, I'm really of the belief that the only way to really master something is to repeatedly use that information and to apply it. And step number four, which is optional depending on what you want to do, is to now do an advanced level course or textbook on this topic to really go deep, to go advanced. And step number five is to just keep applying the knowledge, keep doing more and more difficult problems and continuously training your brain to really understand things by applying them in practice. So in the context of data structures and algorithms, step number one, which is getting the very general idea is I essentially just went on YouTube. I think I watched this video. I watched this video to um, probably this video as well. You just get a very general idea of the topics that you need to know. Uh, so after this point, you will essentially understand which data structures are out there. You've heard the names of tries and heaps and graphs and cues, you roughly in a conceptual level know what they mean and you will sort of broadly understand why it's useful to try to find more efficient algorithms. Essentially you are at the point where if you are at a date with a computer scientist and they tell you that they'd like you to do a depth first search on them, you will at least know what they mean. You might not be able to implement it yet, but you'll sort of have a grasp of the lingo. The second step, which is where you really start studying these things is to do a fundamental course. The one that I am doing, which I've talked about a lot is zero to masteries data structures and algorithms path. Zero to mastery is essentially this, this really popular online portal where you're going to do all kinds of different programming computer science courses created by this teacher who was really, really successful in Udemy. So then he went on to create his own platform with his own courses. You can study to become a web developer. You can study Python, advanced JavaScript, whatever you want. And I am their affiliate partner. So if you do sign up below using my link, I will get a small kickback, but the reason I'm talking about them is not because I get kicked back. I'm choosing to promote them instead of some other course because it is the one that I use and it is the one that I think is the best, at least out of the options that I personally use. So the specific course that I'm talking about is this one called Master the Coding Interview, Data Structures plus Algorithms. I'm done it completely. It essentially goes through all the data structures, some of the most popular algorithms. And before that, you really get to grasp big O notation, which is super, super important. You don't have to choose this course, but whichever course you choose, it's really important to make sure that you like the teacher. If the instructor is really boring, like most of my university lectures, for example, you'll probably not be very motivated to study. So that's really why I enjoy Andre's teaching because he is just able to teach in a very engaging way. At this point, you might even be able to tell your day that you plan to use the Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest path to love. Yeah, these jokes are pretty bad. The only con with this course is that they probably don't make you do enough exercises, but that's not really a big deal because then you can just move on to step three, which is lead code. And lead code, you've probably heard of it. It's just this big online bank of a bunch on bunch of programming and coding structures questions. And essentially, you should start doing these from the easy questions as soon as you're able, even while you're still doing the course. From what I know, for entry level interviews, the level that you want to reach at least is where you're able to do medium problems comfortably. I'm probably at the point personally where I am able to do medium problems, but really to be safe, you want to be able to do hard as well. And they have whole sections for Google interview questions, Facebook interview questions, which are behind the premium paywall. I haven't got premium yet with them. I think the free is fine for me for now. Uh, but if I do end up getting Rico premium at some point, I will definitely let you know and then talk about it if it's worth it for me. But there is one thing that you absolutely must do if you actually want to learn data structure and algorithms. If you don't do this thing, you're definitely not 
not gonna learn them and that's to hit the like button down below this video if you enjoyed this video go down below and hit the like button science has showed that people who hit the like button on my videos are 700 percent more likely to actually learn data structures and algorithms and to get jobs at google you think i'm lying i mean what if i'm not uh, you might as well do it it's completely free to hit the like button so even if there's 0.001 percent chance that i'm telling you the truth you might as well do it but yeah seriously if you are enjoying these videos do hit the like button down below the video it takes you like one second and it really helps out my channel so do that and let's move on to step four which is going deeper and this is really something that's probably optional you're really going deep into the theory the, what i'm doing is robert sedgwick's algorithms fourth edition textbook yeah it's probably overkill it's this massive textbook like 900 pages that go, really goes into the theoretical foundations behind data structures and algorithms like the fundamental maths behind it and all of that and to be fair to go even deeper i've already studied maths for computer science before doing all of this so i have the mathematical background and I'm now i'm studying data structures and algorithms from a mathematical perspective long term if you want to be the best programmer the best computer scientist you want to have as much knowledge as possible and you want to understand the fundamentals even if you're not directly applying them in the problems that you'll be doing in interviews so i'm of the belief that you probably want to do this but again it depends if you have an interview in two weeks you probably don't want to go and read a massive theoretical textbook on algorithms but if you're willing to take your time like i am i am really taking my time with this really understanding the fundamentals and everything behind it can never hurt and i'm also doing the associated coursera course uh from princeton that one's completely free to do so if you want to go a bit deeper at least do the coursera course by princeton it's part of my self-taught computer science path which if you want to know more about that you can go watch this video right after this one and yeah essentially i'm still doing that and after that and during it i am constantly doing leak problems and this is really really i cannot emphasize how important it is because when you're doing these problems you're developing this pattern recognition ability the ability to apply these things that you've learned into actual problems and to actually start seeing where you should be using a hash map for example all these things you might know that hash map exists but until you've solved enough problems where they're supposed to be used your brains won't really understand where to apply it but once you're doing enough problems you'll sort of automatically to start seeing the patterns and on top of leak code i am using uh, cracking the coding interview it does sort of assume some foundational level of understanding of these topics so if you're a beginner i wouldn't actually starting with this i would consider doing a full course or something like that to get the fundamentals but then once you're actually studying for interviews the sections in this book are a really great way to sort of rehearse and to sort of remind yourself of the fundamentals but yeah essentially whenever i'm doing problems the best way for me to do it is i will try it first on my own and if i can't solve it in a reasonable amount of time i will just go to the solution or i will youtube the solution there's a lot of great youtube channels that do solution videos to a lot of legal questions i will look at it i will properly understanding and this is super important don't memorize the answer understand the answer and then just go apply that answer to the question but that is essentially it obviously you don't have to use any other resources that i use these are just the ones that i use if you do want to sign up for zero to mastery you can use my code down below in the description get 10 percent off if you're studying these things as well let me know how you're doing it let me know if you disagree with something i said but at the end of the day none of this matters if you don't hit the like button below this video 700 percent more likely go hit the like button anyway the next thing you should do is go watch this video where i talk about how i'm self-teaching computer science i built myself a self-taught computer science degree go watch that video next i give you a free notion template to track your progress